Hello all, Oni got down here for her Oni in the garden, and we're going to start over in the flower pot. So what I thought was a flower is instead a basil. It's a very nice basil, but it's just a basil. Tasty. There are some other flowers in there, though, so, uh, that are absolutely positively flowers. At least I really, really hope they are and not grass. Alright. Aloe is in the back there, not doing really much. Fern is fern. We've got uh, lemongrass. Still need to split, but I haven't gotten around to it. This bed dying back fairly quickly. Um, nights are starting to get a little bit cooler, and there's just not enough room there for the mass to properly keep the roots, you know, alive. So it's it's dying back pretty quickly. Uh, In-laws brought some mums. And a few beauty fades fairly quickly as well. Uh, the plant itself should be fine. It's just that the flowers themselves are going to fade. Over on this side. Yeah, Halloween's coming up. So I've got a pumpkin. I'm not carving it. The uh, spot right there now has some green onion seeds in it and uh, nothing's come up yet but here's hoping we've got the bush beans and something still snacking on my leaves but you can just make it out there plethora of pods so yeah that's gonna be nice the tomato is well Still looking like absolute death warmed over. But the actual bunches of fruit keep growing, keep developing. I actually think, yep, got one right there. Already harvested about a couple of them off and they tasted just fine. So, got uh, moved the potatoes from the bunker into uh, this pot here. Because as soon as this tomato dies off, it's just going to be potato pot. And the bunker itself was right there. It's now in the backyard. It was looking really, really ratty and just not good. I don't have an HOA, but still, neighbors would have been right to complain about it. Still no dirt for the raised bed. Once I've got that, I'll have to plant it in but it should be good to go. Lemon itself, looking quite nice over there. And the apple. So it's looking quite nice. I've had to tell, pull a couple of the really top leaves off. Go take a look here. Because aphids, aphids everywhere. That one's coming off anyways. No if it's on that one. No really good signs of aphids on here. But I did have to go in and just, just recently just pulled off, well, yesterday, pulled off a whole bunch of, oh, wait, look at that. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. No, it's not going to focus. Suffice it to say, there are aphids on that one. It's a very, very small colony. I'm just going to go through and squish them. There we go. Might be some aphids inside of that one. There we go. Kill them all off while I can. So, I'm mostly winning the war. Losing only a couple of leaves every couple of weeks. So... Other than that, everything's kind of moving along, and just, yeah, uh, it's starting to actually get cold here. Right now, it's probably in the high 60s outside, so I should go probably get some shoes on. But uh, the, be the bush beans are going to be just fine. I might have to cover them. The tomato, if it dies, it dies. I'm not expecting it to survive very much longer anyways. And everything else, well, it survived last year's winter so 
if this one's mild but uh, long, which it may well be, then uh, everything should be fine. Talk to you all later.